Good Saturday morning everybody. It's a beautiful spring morning this morning. We've got coffee. We've got Michelle. We have sunshine. What else can you ask for? Apart from to drink the coffee. <laughs> Guys, it's a beautiful morning this morning. Look at that out there. Look at the sky, and it's 11 degrees. A beautiful morning. Okay, guys, well, like I can say, a beautiful day. This is the first time this year I've actually felt any sort of warmth from the sun. Yeah, and it's actually roasting in this car. Bring on summer. Oh, change gear on. I obviously can't do two things at once. Can I? Uh, okay, what I was trying to say then, apart from the fact that it's really warm and sunny, is we're off to the pictures. We're off to go and watch Logan. Yeah. Yes. We have reinstated our uh, unlimited Sydney World card. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, how much are they? £208 a year. £208 a year for unlimited. Each. Yeah. Two hundred and eight pounds a year for unlimited cinema. Can, if you want to work out, I think you have to go just over two times a month to get your money back. It's like eighteen quid a month or something like that. Yeah, eighteen pound a month for two of us. Eight, no, eighteen pound a month. So Thirty six pound each. So when you consider it's what it's ten, twelve pounds to get in the cinema now. So we have to go three times a month. Which we usually do, but we can do. Um, when you do things annually, it just shows you actually how much things cost on it. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's weird, but yeah, we're saving money. We're going off to see Logan. Um, Michelle wants to see what? Beauty and the Beast live? The, the live one, yeah, that would be good. I would have liked to have seen it in, in figures, but this is the last weekend they'll be showing that as well. And what is that? Was that about? I've not heard that one. The, the, the untold story of the women who helped get a man on the way. Oh, right. Oh, I've never, I've never heard that. I would have wanted to go and watch that. So. It's alright, I'll put it up for you. I don't know yet. Okay. Um, yeah, and it's all in a attempt to stop me down buying DVDs and it's myself. Well, you have to admit, we do buy less DVDs when we look at the pictures. Yes, we do. So, offsetting the price of the pre-ordered DVDs. That and a hundred quid off uh, our annual, or maybe two hundred quid off our annual. Probably pay for one pass. Anyway, with that, we're off to the cinema. Yeah, lovely day, so we're off to the beach yes, to go and watch. Oh, good. Speak to you later. Okay, guys, that's the film over with. I watched Logan. Michelle didn't watch Logan. No. You had to come out with a migraine. And before you call me heartless, I did offer to take her home. Mhm. Mm she refused so I stopped to watch the end so I'm not going to give away any spoilers because Michelle doesn't know what happens but all I will say for me personally that is definitely the best Logan film ever I would give that a good 9 out of 10 solid 9 out of 10 easily okay. I really enjoyed that um, and I'm looking at the time now that's oh, a two and a half hour film and it felt like 10 minutes for me what do you think about the bit that you saw I think that was what set me off. It, it was the, the high pitch noise right on the edge of hearing. Right, see, that's where I've got the advantage. I haven't got that edge of hearing that Michelle has. Yeah, so. It was, it was good, it was very good. Right, I think what we'll do is get Michelle home, get her some uh, liquid inside her because before the migraine comes on, yeah. Well, I've taken some painkillers and I've sunk a bottle of the Cassade, so. I can tell you that it's now 15 degrees and it's glorious. So we shall get on. Yes, anyway, move, I'll only show move a review. Take painkillers, kill people on the way out on the car park. 
Still got it right behind you, don't we? Take painkillers and enjoy. Okay, guys, we've decided all of Aberdeen are attempting to commit suicide by vehicular suicide. Death by, death by walking in front of me. Yeah, <laughs> that's a dozen at least. Oh, well, let's see what we can get up here. Moving on. Hi, guys, it's Geekbox time. I've had a new Geekbox delivered. This is a Marvel Geek Box, this one, isn't it? No? Oh. I've got a I Sleep When I'm Dead t shirt, which isn't quite true. I'll sleep anytime. As oh, I've just seen something in here. As Michelle will testify, I've just seen an absolute. I'll leave that bit till it lasts. Hellboy Cult Vinyl Put the sound on boxes Hellboy Cult Vinyl Telling you what's in my geek box. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exclusive Hellboy cult vinyl. Uh, I've also got five. Well, I'm going to two, three, four, six Doctor Who pin bad checks. One Michelle's lanyard. Victory. Keep calm. I'm the I'm the doctor. K9. It's a fast one for a very old doctor. Oh, a Cyberman. An exterminate. I've also got a Marvel's Universe keyring. Wayne Industries. Yes. And that's DC, not Marvel. I'll read the back of the card. <laughs> DC Comics Keyring. <laughs> Michelle will edit that bit out. Like hell she will. Alan Fail. Uh, DC Comics Keyring. With so many vehicles in higher, what Batman needs keyrings. And then one really, really took my eye when I opened this is this. Let me just describe this from the card. You can find it. It's a soft sculpture, great six inch collectible, pure high end soft sculpture. Details including rotating head and vinyl accessory make them a real standout item. Here we go. It's a Groot. Here we go. tied into the box so I have a baby group he has a green head pauses I'll need to open the box to get him out and that is my geek box okay guys we've been out and bought a little bit of a toy today just for uh, an experiment you see a lot of people in the vlogs they've got drones flying around now, I don't want to go and pay a £1,000, or Michelle, probably Michelle won't let me pay a £1,000 
for a drone to take probably 10 minutes a year's footage. But she has let me spend a small amount of money. Well, it's not a small amount of money, is it? Uh, spend, what is it, £140? I will tell you it was £140 on a Gamma drone Wi Fi. It's a 720p, so it's reasonable. It has altitude hold, obstacle avoidance, headless mode. I don't know what that means. And a live point of view. And it will fly for a while, for about seven or eight minutes. Oh, yeah, 720 HD camera. Batchy, six and a half minutes to fly, that's okay. Obstance, avoidal, avoidance, uh, altitude hold, hover mode, 720p camera, one batch, oh, it's actually just saying the same thing. In French. <laughs> I could read French. I want to see what it looks like. Let's see if I can open it. Bottom. Yeah, before you destroy the box. It's always going to do. We do this, remind me about how a knife feels before I start opening things like this. Whoa! And there you go, guys. One drone. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to set this up and see what happens. Maybe not. This is the show that follows ordinary people swearing Okay guys, we've discovered a brand new program to us. Which has just got us in states of laughter. It's called The Science of Stupid. And it's brilliant. Yeah? It's really good. Resistance. Scientific principles are why people make a fool of themselves. <laughs> Highly recommended. Science of Stupid. Okay, guys, that's Saturday night coming to a conclusion for us. I'm going to call it on a vlog now. It's been a good day, but lo good but long day. Yeah. So, with that, it's a good night from Michelle. Good night. And it's a good night from me. Good night. What? It's a good night from me. And it's a good night from them. Nearly ruined our catchphrase altogether. I didn't pitch it properly. Well, I do these things to try and fool you. Anyway, moving on. Good night.